Hi, I'm Jill with the West Regional Branch of the Mobile Public Library, and I'd like to recommend to you the Netflix series, Alias Grace. Uh, it is also available on DVD through our curbside service. Um, it's a six episode miniseries that is based on a Margaret Atwood book, and the book was inspired by a true story. Uh, in the 1800s, Grace Marks was a housemaid who murdered or at least she was convicted of murdering her employer. And even at the time, there was quite a bit of debate about whether or not she really did it. Um, and then Margaret Atwood's book, and of course the TV show that's based on it, all centers around a doctor who comes to interview Grace in prison to find out her side of the story. And it really sucks you in because Grace is a masterful storyteller. Like she's just got a really good way with words. And as she's telling her life story, um, you always want to know what happens next. And then the other thing to, consider, to remember about this is that it is based on a Margaret Atwood book. And Margaret Atwood always does sci-fi, fantasy, something with a little bit of a twist to it. So when Grace is telling her story, there's got a cer certain like spooky, supernatural type things happen. Um, as she relates the events. And you never really know in uh, Alias Grace whether, you know, Grace is making this all up and she's just being, trying to be manipulative or if she really believes this happens but it's actually some sort of delusion or if there really is something supernatural that's going on in, this, um, in the story of her life that made all these events happen. So if you like a good like psychological suspense with an unreliable narrator, um, you probably love Alias Grace because it is really well put together. Um, and it's also got really good complex story writing um, and really good production values. It's fantastically acted and produced. It looks wonderful. Um, and you know, it's all around, I think, just really well made show. Um, I would highly recommend it to anybody who likes something with, you know, complex, thoughtful writing. Since I was just talking about his, uh, historical drama, uh, that started to make me think about, like, historical snacks and candy, which brings up the subject of licorice. Um, it's, licorice is a very divisive issue. Most people, at least it seems like to me, most people don't like it licorice, but there are a handful who just really love it. Uh, and I was in the Ew Gross Licorice camp for many years until I had a friend who was a big licorice fan who said, no, you have to get one that's actually like real licorice, not, you know, like um, natural, all natural and artificial flavors, you know, one that's actually made with licorice root. So I'd also read something about how it's got like stomach, stomach soothing properties and, and is good for your teeth. So I'm like, okay, well, let me give this a try. So I, I went and checked the licorice um, section in the candy section, and I was reading uh, the backs of uh, packages, and I found one that didn't have any kind of mystery flavors, no natural flavors, artificial flavors, where you don't really know what it is. I found one that was just licorice root. And I tried it out, and it's still not my favorite candy by any means, but it was perfectly pleasant, unlike the you know, artificial one, which is just kind of gross, at least in my opinion. I mean, I know some people like it, but it's not super popular. Um, so yeah, if you have never had like real licorice, um, just out of curiosity's sake, you might want to try that sometime. You know, read the packages, find one that um, says it's just licorice root. Um, and you know, you might be pleasantly surprised. You might like it because um, I was surprised that I actually do kind of like it. Anyway, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you've been watching lately, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.